Hello guys, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Microsoft Key Management Service on your Docker host. I'm gonna use in Pertainer to install this KMS Docker, and I'm gonna show you how to activate your Windows 10 volume license using this new installed KMS service. If you don't know what is KMS, you can look at the Microsoft website. Basically, if you purchased volume license, you can install your own KMS service to activate this license. The KMS client key you can find out from Microsoft document KMS client setup keys just find out the version find out the OS system and then you can use it for your own Windows 10 Windows servers machines previously I already show you how to install KMS service using OpenWRT. If you watch that video, you should have basic idea how to install this service and how it is working. In this video, Pertainer gonna be used to deploy this KMS Docker. Let's start it. First thing, of course, we're gonna create our own container. You go to your containers menu, click add container. Name, I'm gonna use in KMS. The image, that's the same image I used in my previous video. Install open WRT KMS service. We need to map port 1688, this default KMS service port to from container to host. Restart policy, you may want to change it to always or unless stopped it. I will put it into the always. That is only thing you need to set up through container. Three steps. Put the image name, map the port, change the restart policy, deploy the container. That's it. Now your KMS service is up and running. Our next step is I'm going to use in a Windows 10 machine to show you the activation process. This is my Windows 10 machine. As you can see, my this Windows 10 is not activated yet. You can try activate Windows now, but that won't work because you are using volume license, so you need to have the settings for KMS on this Windows 10 machine. So the Windows 10 is Enterprise LTSC version and Windows is not activated. So before we process the next step, I just want to clarify this video is just for lab purpose. If you don't have the license, don't try to install KMS on your own, and even don't try to install on your cloud. So we are gonna activate Windows. Let's go to the command line. Run as administrator. There are a couple of commands we need to run. The first command, 
192.168.2.8 is my KMS machine's IP. So that one we used our container to install our KMS container. So that's IP, your container service IP, basically your doc server IP. Okay. So this command basically telling you where to find your KMS service machine. Back to our Microsoft document for KMS client key. So right now I'm using Windows 10 LTSC, I think 2019. So that's the key we are looking for. We're going to use in this key. So we go back to our Windows 10. We can enter that key. So we installed our product key successfully. So we issue two command. First command we activate it. So you can see activated successfully. So then we know our activation will be expired on uh, February 17th. 2022. So as long as your KMS service is running, they will automatically renew the activation. So your Windows 10 will not expire if your KMS service is available. You can click OK, then you can click System Info again, then you will see Windows is activated. Now you have your activated Windows 10 machine. You can get all update and latest Windows 10 patches. That will apply to all Windows product. So you can use for Windows 10 other version, Windows Server 2016, 19, 20, 22 or even an older version 2012, R2, 2012, 2008, 2008, and Windows 8.1, Windows 7. It's going to help for your lab environment for sure, but please make sure you have proper license for that. Don't install into your cloud environment without proper license. That is all for my today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my video or subscribe my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching.